Hey, what's up? It's John Belcher here. I just want to quick, uh, cut this quick video just to let you guys know something that's kind of been on my mind lately. Uh, and, and basically what that's going to be is the company called you, right? And the reason why I had to cut this video is to let people know basically why it is that I do what I do, right? And for some of you who may not know exactly why it is that you do what you do yet, I want to help you find that reason, right? Or find that purpose for why it is that you do what you do. Because I believe that before, if you know why you're doing what you, you're doing, right? You don't have to necessarily know what you're doing just yet, right? Because you'll always figure out how to do what it is that you want to do as long as you know why, if that makes sense, right? So that's why it's very important to know why you're doing what you're doing, why it is that you're in business for yourself, why it is that you're an entrepreneur, why it is that you may be building up a company, a brand, or selling a product, a service, whatever the case may be. Uh, I hope that is for some type of bigger vision, right? And I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this concept of you know why it is that I do what I do and why it is that many entrepreneurs do what they do uh, and it's for much bigger reasons than what the average person is thinking right and that's why no matter how much times you know true bosses get knocked down no matter how much times we you know may mess up may make a mistake we just keep going and we keep moving forward until we get the results that we want and you know for me it's always been about just uh, being in control you know being in control of you know my decisions and and my income and basically just building on something that could just continuously built be built upon where i'm not building somebody else's dream and building somebody else's company right because let's just be honest the average person goes to work only for the money right that is the the sole purpose of the reason why they go to the job is just to make money right there's really no other reason why they go to their job a lot of times if they hit the lottery they would quit their job right a lot of times if they got enough money to replace their job, they would quit it, right? They wouldn't do it anymore because deep inside, they don't like it. Deep inside, they hate it. Deep inside, right? And we've all been there. It's okay, it's normal. But for me, I can't do that, right? I can't live a life for 30 to 40 years doing something that I absolutely hate just for money, right? Because when we look at money, I'm just gonna pull out a little $20 bill here, right? And just really just analyze it for a second, right? This is $20. $20 in cash, right? It's a $20 bill, right? It's just $20, right? It's, it's a piece of paper, right? What is it, right? Really and truly, when you look at money, what is it that's so amazing about it, right? And in its most literal form, it's a piece of paper. Can it love me? No. Can it touch me? Can it hug me? No. Can it uh, show me affection? No. Can it... Uh, can I build a relationship with this money? Am I going to marry this money, walk around with this money, and is this money... It, yeah, money makes us feel good, right? But but it can't love us back, right? It can't love us back. And for me, most of society, they view money as like the money literally runs their life, right? Literally, people will do things they hate their whole entire life just for this, right? But how much of this is really valuable? Or is it just value that we place upon this ourselves, right? Is it just the value we place upon it? Or is it very valuable? Do we actually care about the money itself? Is this, do I love this thing, right? This, this piece of paper, right? Is it that great, right? And for me, it's bigger than just about the money, right? It's bigger than just about the piece of paper. I mean, the piece of paper is great, right? But it's bigger than just about that. And that's why I can't live a life doing something I absolutely hate just for this. There's got to be a little bit more to it than just this, right? There's got to be a vision. Maybe I'm going to impact some lives, right? Maybe I'm going to impact some generations to come in the future, right? But there's always got to been, for me, it's always had to be something bigger than just the money. It, I can't never see myself just working 8 to 12 hours every day only for money. I mean, it's great, but I just like to think that as human beings, we are a lot more capable, a lot more powerful than we actually think we are. And I believe that God has blessed each and every one of us with a certain gift, right? Or a certain purpose that we're supposed to serve in this life. And... To be honest with you, I believe that it's our duty to discover what that gift is and then express that gift and share that gift with the world to its to our greatest potential, right? Because really, you know many people out there that I know who can sing so good, they can act really good or do something extremely, extremely well, but their talents and their gifts are tainted because they've accepted this nine to five job as, you know, this is my life story and I gotta accept this because there's no other way for me to make my passion into a paycheck, right? But I believe that really and truly, we're not really here to look at money as something that's supposed to really run our whole entire life, right? We're not supposed to literally sell our souls for this 
piece of paper. We're not really supposed to look at this as something, as some type of God-like entity that we can't come across or come by. Really and truly, if we think that we can get a lot of this, we will get a lot of this, right? If we have an abundant mindset, a prosperous mindset, and we believe we can get a lot of money and money is nothing but a piece of paper, we'll have it in abundance, right? But how much of it is money being really valuable and how much of it is just a perspective, right? And that's what I want to ask really fast. How much of it is really valuable and how much of it is just a perspective on money and based on how the, most people perceive it, is that what, what, what decides our action in which we take to get it, right? Or is it something else, right? And I want you to think about that for a sec sec second, right? Is there some type of gift or capability that you have within you that you can share with the world and change generations to come right in the future because that's how i think about business right i don't think of it as just today right i'm thinking about generations to come because for many years hundreds of years already my ancestors my my, my grandparents they've been working the jobs already they've done nine to five jobs right at some point or another somebody has to come into this world sacrifice make a huge sacrifice and break the monotonous cycle of just working a job just for money right somebody has to do that and and that's when you know, I started taking making money online very, very seriously. I started taking entrepreneurship very, very seriously when I started to realize that this is the company called me because if I work at a nine to five job, they can replace me at any given moment. They truly don't give a damn about me personally as a per as you know, as a person, right? They really don't care about me because as soon as they find somebody else who could fill this position or do what it is that that I'm doing for them, they'll make me quit, right? They'll fire me, right? Or, or lay me off or whatever the case may be. So. And that's how most jobs are set up. You have a whole line of people who can't get the job and you have people who are within the job who are, have to do all types of things to keep their job because there's, they know there's so much people out there who can replace them in one second. But the company called you can't be replaced. There is nobody else like you out there in the world. There's nobody else who could do as good as what you could do good as good as you, right? There's nobody else out there who has the gifts that you have, right? So really and truly, if we focused on the gifts that we have naturally right as human beings how much more beautiful will our life actually be if we were to focus on ex expanding those gifts sharing those gifts with the world helping people with those gifts and basically impacting lives in a positive way with those gifts or are we that incapable where we have to look to, to some outside source where we have to look for some outside of approval to be able to make right what we call money right something that is so you know everybody goes so crazy over right but that, that's just where I stand why I do business is because it's just the freedom. Like, there's, it's, it's priceless. It's not only the freedom, it's also the lives to influence because I may not be able to change the world, right? Tupac said it best. He said, I may not be able to change the world. I'm sorry, my phone is ringing. He said, I may not be able to change the world, but I can impact somebody else who will, right? I can influence somebody else who will. So that's really at the end of the day why I do what it, what it is that I do really to express my gifts, to express my passions, to impact lives, and to be free, right? But the money is a great uh, plus to it, but what if money was to govern everything that I do? What if money was the basis behind 95% of the things that I do? Would I have a happy life? Would I enjoy that, right? Would I enjoy a repetitive cycle of doing something I hate just for the, a piece of dollar, all right? A piece of paper, right? And that's something to think about, right? It's bigger than just that, right? It's bigger than just the money. And I think once you start to realize that it's bigger than just the money, that's when the money starts to come in and that's when your life changes and you actually see the success you've always wanted, guys. So this is John Belcher. That was my perspective for the day. Go out there, have a great day and crush it. Peace.